Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome back to another very late night boring episode. Um, we are actually going to be starting something very fun. I'm going to be starting up another goddess series. Uh, we did a constellation series last year, the year before, that was a lot of fun, and I know a lot of you guys enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed that aspect of telling these stories about these different constellations. So we're going to do sort of, sort of the same thing with some goddesses and maybe a few gods here and there. Uh, it's been really interesting and really fun. I've enjoyed exploring, you know, the Greek gods and mythology and the Norse gods and some Hindu gods and some Japanese gods. So it's been really, really fun. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to show you the dried results of our last pour. This was our violet indigo inner sandwich for the space duck, <laughs> which really made me laugh. There he is. This one came out very, very pretty. So I was a little concerned about the Pebio violet blue, this sort of very pink color in here. And it was wet for a very long time because it's been raining so long. But I'm happy to say now that it is dry, can you see that shift, HOA? I hear that sort of electric blue shift that happens yep. on that very pink <laughs> color. And over here on these cells also, it's really, really beautiful. As far as the inner sandwich pour, if you remember, we did only one layer of gold inside the sandwich. And we ended up with all of these beautiful gold cells with that beautiful ruby color that we used as well. So I'm really happy with this. I think it turned out really, really cool. The cells are beautiful. I love that the duck showed up in the very beginning and it just stayed there. Of course, the cells got a little big, so <laughs> I think my gold was just a smidge thinner and that's why the, the cells spread so much more. But I love this area in here where you see these outlines of gold with the ruby and you see over here more of the ruby outlining the gold. I think that's really cool. These cells are beautiful. So this came out really cool. I'm really happy with it. I love these very soft areas of pink where we got a little bit of that violet blue blending. I love this very galactic corner up here. So this one was a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun with that inner sandwich technique. And that's what we're gonna be playing with again tonight. Let me show you my colors and then I will tell you about the guts we're doing tonight. So this first one, there's a lot of Pebio. This is the Pebio Iridescent Red Blue that I've been having this little love affair with lately. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Very, very pretty. I think I like this one a little bit better than the Violet Blue, just because I'm not a big fan of pink. But that's the Iridescent Red Blue. I also have the Iridescent Orange Yellow, which I was kind of obsessed with <laughs> for a while around Halloween. Lots of lovely orange shimmer in here. Really a beautiful, beautiful color, and when this dries, it's just spectacular. I notice a pattern of obsession. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have, uh, this one's by Pebio also. This is their primary opaque yellow, which I think is going to be beautiful with those two. Should be interesting. <laughs> There's a lot of sparkly shimmery in this one, and I will explain why in a minute. But this is the yellow. And then I have some Titanium White by Amsterdam. Not sure if I'm going to use this or the other one that I have, but this is my Amsterdam Titanium White. Everything is mixed with my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and Floetrol Pouring Medium. This is also a Pebio. This is Iridescent Blue Green. Not the Green Blue. That's the one I was playing with a few months back. This is the Blue Green which is beautiful. Love, love, love this color. This was probably the first Pebio that I fell in love with. Okay, so I think that's all the Pebios. <laughs> this one is Amsterdam Pearl Yellow. My love affair continues as I love this color. I love how it dries. I think it's so beautiful, this gorgeous, very ethereal light gold color, which is just beautiful and shimmery and wonderful. So that's the Pearl Yellow. I also have some Amsterdam Bronze here that we haven't played with in a hot minute, but I still love. And when this dries, it is one of the most amazing colors. Just gorgeous. Mound on a mound, sinking into itself pretty quickly. And then I added this one at the last minute. This is a little bit of the leftovers from that Space Duck pour. This is that indigo violet color that I made. And I love this. I think it's just absolutely fantastic. So my game plan is to use these three, the red, blue, the orange, and the yellow, and possibly the white on the outsides of, this, of the layered cup. 
And then for, because, you know, sun and light and sunshine, these three colors really spoke to me. And then for the sandwich part, the inner sandwich part, I'm either going to use, probably going to use the pearl yellow as the sandwich bread. And then I have that iridescent blue green and the bronze. And at the last minute, I decided to add that indigo violet also. So these three are going to be inside the sandwich and those are going to be outside the sandwich. So, okay. <laughs> a little confusing, but hopefully it'll work out the way I want. So let's move these over and we'll keep those over there. We're going to layer a couple of cups. We have a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas, which I'm excited about because I haven't had that size in a while and I think it's going to be really cool. Okay, so we're actually going to start with a little bit of the red blue and I'm going to layer these the same. I'm not going to use such thick, thick layers. In that one, the Space Duck one, I purposely put in very thick layers in the cup to get a more minimal, not so busy design. And I got that. I liked it. But I think what's going to happen in the center is going to be really cool here. So now we're going to do some of that iridescent orange yellow. And then some of the opaque yellow. Now this is where I'm debating. Should I put, I think I'm gonna put a small layer of white first, just in the cup. And now we're gonna do our sandwich, the sandwich bread with that pearl yellow. So we're gonna put a layer of this around and I'm gonna try not to use such a thick, thick layer of it because I felt like there was a lot of white in the last couple that we've done. And that's still quite a bit, okay. So now we're going to put a little bit of the iridescent blue-green on there inside the sandwich and let's put a little bit of the bronze next. I think this is going to be a really beautiful color combination. Okay, and now we're going to put a little bit of that indigo violet color that I love. And I kind of want to use the pearl yellow as the sandwich bread because I think it's going to give the colors inside this very iridescent, sparkly, ethereal color. And again, with sandwich pours, you want to use very bright, bold colors because the white obviously is going to tone them down a little bit. All right, and now we're going to go back to our red, orange, and yellow. I'm not going to put another layer of white. So we're going to go yellow. And then the orange, yellow. And then the red. Here it is in red, blue. HOA, do you think we should do another layer of sandwich? No. Or just repeat that again. Okay, so no, then I'm going to put another layer, of, a small layer of white. And we're going to repeat that orange, yellow, red. Or yellow, orange, red. I also have a tub of drips here that I'm going to be using as my flow extender slash base coat. This is literally a lot of different colors. <laughs> this is the drips from that space duck pour with a couple of other colors in there. And uh, I don't think this is going to show up that much, so I don't think it's going to matter. So that's going to be our base coat color. We have our 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas here from Artist Swap. I have taped and pinned the back and I have put my push pins in and painted my sides and edges with that flow extender base coat color. All right, so let's flip these out and then I will tell you about our goddess of the evening. So we're gonna put our two puddles down, maybe slightly bigger. We're just gonna tilt this for a second, just spread it out a little bit. 
So the goddess that we're going to be talking about tonight is Thea. I actually have a little cheat sheet here. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see it. So Thea is one of the Greek goddesses. She's actually one of 12 titans, which are kind of the precursors to the gods and goddesses. Thea is the Greek goddess of divine light. So her parents were Gaia and Uranus. Gaia is, of course, the earth, Mother Earth, and Uranus is the sky. So they had 12 children, the Titans. Um, Thea went on to marry Hyperion. Hyperion was her brother. He was the god of the sun. And they had three children together, Helios and Selene. Helios was the, represented the sun, Selene represented the moon, and one other daughter named Eos who represented the dawn. So the cool thing about Thea, the thing that she really personified for the Greeks was the shimmering upper layer of the atmosphere, the pure, pure air that the gods breathed. Not like us normal mortals who got the dirty air, they got the pure, clean air. <laughs> they were way up on Olympus. Yeah, exactly. So she personified that shimmering upper atmosphere of light and very sparkly and glistening and beautiful. And she is actually associated with giving things that glistening, shimmering quality, like gemstones and precious metals, like gold and silver and platinum. She's the one that gives them their luster and their sparkles. So for all of us who love that <laughs> shimmery jewel tone and sparkly stuff, we can thank Thea for that. Um, actually, the reasons that the Greeks valued gold so much is because they thought that it embodied Thea's divine personality and that's what gave gold its luster and its sparkle and its shimmeriness. Um, so her name also means sight and not just vision but a clarity of vision and prophetic wisdom and that's that's a theme that you'll find all through Greek mythology is her being able to prophesize and um, have very good clarity of sight and wisdom. So that's most of the story about Thea but my favorite part of the story is of course is she's the the, the shimmering personification of light and that's what gives everything its sparkle so that's one of the reason that we've used so many iridescent colors tonight in honor of Thea so we're gonna do a flip cup we're gonna start the first one about over here are you ready husband of awesomeness I lost that I am here we go okay so there's our first cup I'll give that a few magic taps okay and we're gonna pick this one up and I'm not going to lip it right away. I'm going to look at it first before I lip it to see if there's any solid blocks of color through there. It's really pretty. I think we are going to go through it once. Just like that. That's cool. Pretty cut. And we're going to do our other one about over here. Ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is really cool already. Few magic taps. Put a little bit of more flow extender around this back edge because I don't want to lose any of this beautiful deliciousness that's coming out of the cup. Ooh, look over there. See that blue coming through? Okay, here we go. Ready, honey? The starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine gets me every time. Lost in the city light, our love's electric. this out and take a look at what's going on. This is beautiful. I love all these cells that are coming up. Okay. Let's uh, push around a little bit. Beneath an endless night 
So this is really cool. I like what's happening in here. I love that red, orange, yellow. I think that's really beautiful together, especially like up in this area. I love how that looks. And the sandwich part, we had the iridescent blue-green and the bronze. So where is the bronze? I'm not seeing a lot of bronze, but it's gotta be in there, right? And some of that beautiful, deeper indigo violet that we made. On this side, it's a little more spread out. There's some of the cells of the iridescent blue-green and a little on the edge, and I see that indigo violet. So my bronze is sort of gone somewhere. <laughs> Lost in the shuffle. Yeah, maybe. So here's my question, HOA. Do you think that we should take some of this off and spread this top part out more? Or do we kind of like this sort of line that's there? I actually like this part. I wouldn't mind if you lost some of the far part. I love this edge. <laughs> okay, well, there's your answer. I don't think I would mind losing a little bit of that. Let's just see if there's a lot moving. I wouldn't mind introducing a little bit more curve to that line. But I kind of like those darker parts that are there also. Maybe that's the word. Spendable. <laughs> I think I kind of like it though. I mean, let's see, where's the way to the paint? You could make it go. See, I really like this right in here though, which is why I didn't take that much off of that section. We can get a little bit over there though, without losing the part that I like. Just so there's not quite so much purple right there. purple wants to stay. <laughs> okay, so I really like this actually. I think it's really, really pretty. I kind of feel like this is the top, the edge that's closest towards me. And then that bottom section is very cool too. I like this. This is selling up like crazy, <laughs> which is okay with me. No, no, I think I do actually want to take a little bit more of that bottom off because there is a lot happening in here and we can afford to lose some paint. So we're gonna keep this top section and open it up a little bit more and get some of that extra off and stretch this part out because I think this part is really cool. And I think it's gonna dry really pretty. Sometimes it's all about sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. The Greeks understood that, the gods understood that. Okay. Oh my goodness, did they ever. All right, so we're gonna take this back down and stretch it out now a little bit. I'm gonna take it this way. Let's see if we can't create some cool composition in there as well. And about this lot, this yellow, you know, I'm gonna take a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry. This, I'm not crazy about that yellow that's there. So we're just gonna let this run straight down. 
and push that off. And then bring it back. Okay, what about that yellow corner? What do you think? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. So I think this is going to sell up a lot more. <laughs> I don't know how it could really, but it's going to. <laughs> this is looking really pretty though. I like, I like the cells, they're really good. Yeah, they're pretty. And I like how we're getting a little bit of that iridescent blue-green and the purple in there, the indigo violet. Some of these cells are gorgeous. I love this orange, yellow, red combination. It's really, really pretty. I am kind of tempted to take that corner off. Because I like this. I don't love that though. Yeah, I think it's gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. Figure it out as we go along. What we like and what we don't like. And I like the rest of it a lot more than that. So. I'll just try to get rid of the yellow part. Even though there are some really cool little blue cells in there. down. See, there's still a lot of paint, so that's why I'm taking parts off. But I like this. I think it's really cool. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is our tribute to Thea, the goddess of light and all things sparkly and good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Um, if you have any particular goddesses that you would like me to research and discuss in one of the videos, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to do that. Also, please check out our website for Fluid Art Boutique. Dublin 2024 is coming up very quickly. I'm very excited about it. Uh, now would be the time for the European people to get some tickets and book your rooms and things like that. We have so many people coming from the States. I'm so excited to see everybody there. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I will leave all the information for the hotels in the description box. There are still rooms available at the Royal Marine. There is a code for Fluid Art Boutique that's in the description box. And if you mention that code, you get our special rate. And... Um, we're going to have an awesome time. So it's going to be in June 2024. 20, so I hope we see you guys there. Uh, check out our website at www.fluidartboutique.com. And I will show you this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. This is really pretty. This is like that. Oh, there's the bronze. It's underneath there. Okay. It's kind of our shimmering ether. That's really cool. I like this a lot. It's very pretty. It is very soft and galactic. I like those colors a lot.